In this video, we're going to be using the HCNC unscented soap along with the HCNC watermelon scenting oil and the Above the Tie SSRH2 razor. Stay tuned. Hey there folks and welcome back for another video. I'm your host CDB and thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. As always, before we get into the content, a word from our sponsor, Leaf. This video is brought to you by our good friends at Leaf and you know I love Leaf products. I love using the Leaf, which you've seen me use many, many times on the channel. I also love using the Twig. You've seen that a lot on the channel as well. If you'd like to save 5%, Use discount code IMCDB right there and save 5% while shopping with the good folks at Leaf. And now, back to the video. And all right, folks, we are back and welcome in, welcome in. As mentioned before, today we're going to be using the HCNC Unscented Shaving Soap Base. And this comes to you for $19 for 5 ounces, but honestly, you're getting a lot more than 5 ounces. Anyway, the score on this, it's a good price. We give it a score of 4 out of 5, but it's much, much better than advertised because although he lists 5 ounces, it's probably closer to six, seven, maybe even eight. So keep that in mind. The value on this soap is very, very good and better than advertised. Uh, today I'm using for scent the HCNC watermelon scenting oil. And these small ones, two milliliter, run about 350. And you can get a five milliliter for about six bucks, I think, at HCNC. Very, very nice. I used about four drops, and now the room is just smelling like a beautiful watermelon, and I love that. This soap, by the way, if I can grab it here, it's in the top shelf base, which is very good. I'm gonna show you the ingredients right there. It's not tallow nor vegan. It's not vegan because it contains things like goat's milk, lanolin, tussa silk, but it also doesn't use tallow. So it's a very interesting soap base and we got an amazing lather with it. Although I'm not gonna show you a shot today because I've shown this to you many times. And today I just took it easy. I'm like, hey, no lather shot. Save me a few minutes, which is awesome. So we're just gonna really enjoy and have a great shave today. The razor for today is the above the tie, the above the tie SSRH2, which is open coma. This is a really nice razor. It comes to you from above the tie for $195, all stainless steel, made in America. The blade gap on this, this one is 0 0.80 and above the tie rates it at eight out of nine in efficiency. It is a very nice razor and you know I gotta do it. I always like to do the Atlas slide. So if you hold that and just hold your finger straight and you let it fall, well, actually, you got to hold on to it. Don't let it fall. But if you kind of let it slide, because of that knurling, it twists on its own. And I always like to do this. What can I say? I'm easily entertained. All right. Let's get into the shave today. We're going to start by missing the face with just plain water. And we are looking forward to a nice, bright shave with this watermelon scent. I really love the HCNC scent your own um, sort of concept. Uh, and again, I've mentioned this many times. Uh, when I first started using this, um, or when, when this was first advertised, I was like, I don't want to keep up with a bunch of scenting oils. Bah, 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 bah. And then when I tried it, I was like, this is nice. I can bring the scent up exactly to my level of preference. And there is a very nice lather there. And so I really like it. Although I was skeptical about the scent your own at first, as soon as I tried it the first time I was like, oh, I was wrong. <laughs> and you know, sometimes you're just wrong and that's the way it is. And I was wrong by balking at something before I even tried it. And once I used it, I was like, oh yeah, I like this. <laughs> Cause again, you can bring that scent exactly to the scent strength you like. And for me, the four drops today has put it at, put it at that medium high range, which is very good for me. This And the soap base is excellent. And this is just, just gonna make, I think, for an excellent shave today. And you can see there, nice hydration in that lather. Very nice indeed. And man, we're looking forward to this one today. We are definitely looking forward to this one today. All right, that is enough. We don't have to lather all day there. That should be more than adequate. And I hope you're all having a great day so far. Today we plan on making this day as good as we possibly can. There's a lot of stuff going on, but we try to keep a, a positive attitude, try to always be uplifting. And so I hope you're doing the same. Remember, it matters to people, folks. This morning, hold, hold a door for someone shoot them a smile, just do something nice for someone today. It really means a lot, trust me. Uh, it will brighten your day to help other people. And that's certainly what we always seek to do here is try to help and be uplifting and just uh, try to leave a positive mark on the hobby. All right, so how is this razor? Um, oh, and by the way, I forgot to mention something. If you order from HCNC, use promo code IMCDB, 
and HCNC will give you a free gift. If you order from Above the Tie, use discount code IMCDB and you can save 10% at Above the Tie. But remember, only use those codes if you're going to buy something already. I'm, I never ask you to buy anything unless the only time I sort of advertise something that I would like you to buy is for the purpose of charity, generally. Um, but if you're going to shop at HCNC or Above the Tie, if you use those codes, uh, you can save 10% at Above the Tie and, and at HCNC you can get a free gift and it also helps the channel. So thank you very much if you do. But as always, no pressure whatsoever. So this razor, I meant to start talking about the razor and then I got sidetracked. Um, nice and efficient, but still smooth. For me, I like it a lot. Good folks at Above the Tide, they've been around a long time. I want to say around 10 years or close to it. Uh, Stan was there and now uh, his daughter Mariah, and I believe her husband's name is Matt, and I hope I didn't get that wrong. Sometimes I forget. It's a whirlwind of stuff going on now, so, <laughs> so sometimes I forget. But uh, there are very, very nice people over there at Above the Tie, and they're still making great razors. They've been making them for a long time, and, and their uh, really fine craftsmanship continues even today. All right. Pass one was fantastic with that bland, brand new Nasset blade. The uh, It was just fantastic. The quality of the soap, five out of five. You know, it's just, it's easy to lather, ease of use, five out of five. Very good stuff indeed. And the scent, you know, if I were to rate the scent on this, I'd give it five out of five. Although, because I'm using a scenting oil, I don't really rate the soap the way I would others. But I will say, in the things that we can, ease of use, five out of five. Overall quality, five out of five. Uh, cost, four out of five, but really it's more like five out of five. But the price listed, we'll call it four out of five. So this is a very good quality soap. And if you haven't tried the HCNC Top Shelf Base, give it a shot, see what you think. For me, it works really, really well. And uh, Pete over there at HCNC is just nearly obsessed with customer satisfaction. And I say that in a good way. Meaning he just, he does care about your satisfaction and he cares about giving you good value. When, uh, I remember maybe a month or closer to two months ago, um, Pete was looking at his prices on his unscented soap here. And at the time, I think it was $21. And he was like, you know what? Um, that soap is unscented. And I know the scenting oils do add to the cost of a soap, but there's no, no oils in there. So he reduced the price of this soap from $21, I believe, to $19. And who does that? Whoever drops, <laughs> who drops the price of something that's, that's not on sale or clearance? Pete does, because he's trying to give you the best value he can give. Well, still, you know, he's got to make some money too. But that's just phenomenal. When everyone else is raising, Pete was dropping <laughs> his price. So I think that's just awesome. So that's something to think about. So I really appreciate that sort of thing. I think we can all use a, you know, a boost in the way of, a, you know, a little discount. So that's really awesome, I think. All right. Very nice. This is definitely an efficient shaver. Again, this is the Bud the Tie SSRH2. And I know there's a lot of letters in, in those names, but that's just what it is. We'll re it real quick and do a quick cross pass there. Very nice, and the Nasset blades are my go-to, and uh, I use them three times an hour. That's my standard um, level of use. Now, if the blade started feeling rough in the middle of the shave, I'd change it out right then and there. Um, I haven't had that with the Nasset where it's failed me before three shaves. I could probably get more shaves out of it, but for me, standard DE is uh, three shaves an hour. That's what I do. You might be able to get more, it might be less, it just depends on your beard and so on and so forth. But First shave with the Nasset here, very smooth. And so, again, we'll expect to get three shaves out of it. And I find the Nasset to be overall a very good combination of sharpness and smoothness. So it's very nice, all right. As is the razor today. Again, this is made in the United States. All stainless steel. And I remind you that Above the Tie has um, they have sort of a discount area on their website. I think they call them ugly items or something like that. And most of the time those items that are listed there 
just might have a little flaw of some sort, like a little mark. And many people find items that are on sale there for very good prices. I've seen, I know Jeffrey Smith has, I've seen him buying stuff there. So check that area of the website as well and you might find a good value there. But I'm telling you, this is a really nice shaver today and a nice smooth shave, which is really what I'm seeking to do every day is just get a nice, smooth, easy going shave. And I had a new gentleman or a gentleman that's new to me, I should say, who he was telling me, you know, he just gets a lots of irritation and his, his skin is pretty fatigued and it's kind of painful. And folks, keep in mind when you're new, your skin takes time to adjust, right? And so don't push it, don't push it. Just uh, shave, but don't go for BBS, which means baby butt smooth, which means as close as humanly possible. Try not to go for BBS, at least initially. See what your face will handle. It might take a few weeks or even a few months to sort of adjust and sort of figure out what your face will tolerate. But this gentleman said he's obsessed with going BBS or trying to get the closest possible shave and then it, it, his, he sort of pays the price for it. And my advice, just go for a cl close, comfortable shave, at least to start, and, and let your face sort of get used to the style of shaving, which does take, it takes some time and figuring out how to sort of crack the code on your own unique use case. That's really what it's all about. And every face is different and the things you use might be a little different. And the technique you use might have to be a little bit different than mine. So keep that in mind. Maybe you don't make three passes. Maybe you make two. Maybe you don't go against the grain. All those things you really have to figure out. No one, no one can really tell you what's gonna work best for you. You kind of have to figure that out. That's why I say crack the code. And when I say crack the code, I don't mean it's, it's difficult. I just mean it takes a little bit of time to figure that out. But if you go too hard early on, you'll have a bad experience and it will turn you off. And so just go easy, make a couple of passes. And if it's not quite as close as you like, just let it be, let your skin recover and then go back, you know, and through the repetitions, you'll learn what your face can and cannot tolerate. And also your face will adjust to this style of shaving. It's very, very important. Your use case, your skin, and all those things, it's very, very important to consider. Um, this is really not a one-size-fit-all type of thing, traditional shaving. Some people make three passes, some make two, some make more than three. So you have to figure out what your skin will tolerate. But one thing is for sure, don't go too hard, don't use too much pressure, and don't repeatedly go over the same areas early on in pursuit of BBS, because that is a recipe for disaster. And when your face is a little rough and you've beat it up a little bit, give it some time to rest. Take a day or so off or whatever it takes. Let it rest and recuperate and then come back and go easy. Go easy. What you want to do is be tough on your beard with the cutting, but not tough on your skin, you know. And so just keep that in mind. All right. Very, very, very nice smooth shave today. And we were not tough on our skin today. All right. Let me rinse, then we'll come back and get into the post. Stay tuned. And all right, we are back and off cam we did a rinse to get rid of the soap and then we used our PAA alum. After using the alum, there was no stinging, so super smooth shave. No nicks, guts, creepers, weepers, irritation, bubbles, or troubles. Very nice indeed. Following the alum, we did another rinse and then we tied off with our Lancaster towel. Prior to using the magic made by Witches Thayer's Witch Hazel Cucumber. I had an excellent shave today with the HCNC Unscented Base and we'll run down the scores for you on that. Cost four out of five, ease of use five out of five, and overall quality five out of five. And that brings us to a total score of 14 out of 15. And this stuff is really excellent. If you pair it with one of these uh, scenting oils or fragrance oils from HCNC, and again, I think the two milliliter here runs about 350 and the five milliliter $6 or something like that. And the watermelon that we used today was very, very nice. I enjoyed that a lot. Don't forget, if you get something from HCNC, Use promo code IMCDB and you will get a free gift. The razor for today was the Above the Tie SSRH2, which is an amazing razor. I really enjoyed it a lot. I had a lot of fun using that today. Nice and efficient, but still smooth. Great razor Above the Tie. And don't forget, if you shop at Above the Tie, 
use discount code IMCDB and save 10%. We used our PAA, uh, what is this, Switchback 400 brush, I almost forgot there, and it's an Lancaster Razorworks brush soaking mug, and we're gonna finish it out today with, once again, the fine platinum aftershave, and we'll be off to the races and having a great day, and I hope wherever you are, you have an excellent day as well. Thank you so much, folks, for joining me. I really appreciate it. Until next time, I've been your host, CDB, reminding you, it's your shave, do it your way, and as always, God bless.